Hey, what is going on guys? It's Splash here, bringing you another uh, video today. As you can see, we're actually on Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, I'm going to be breaking down my class setups that I've been using, um, and we're going to be showing you guys kind of what the meta weapons are, what I've been personally having a lot of fun with, going over some of the perks that I personally like and what I've been using. Um, so I'm very excited for this. And just a little side note, this is the first Call of Duty video of the channel. Since Warzone dropped, I've been having a ton of fun. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Battle Royales have like, been my favorite type of genre of games, I guess you could say. Um, H1Z1 was probably like my favorite game of all time, and that was a Battle Royale. So with uh, the new Warzone out now, uh, I've been playing it a lot, having a ton of fun. With Modern Warfare 3, you know, I did the camo grind for Interstellar. I did the Zombies camo grind for Borealis. Uh, that way, you know, I could flex in the Warzone lobbies. So... Without further ado, let's get right into the video, and I'm um, excited to show you guys my builds. Alright guys, so getting right into it, we have the PKM. Uh, I believe the actual pronunciation is like the Pulmiot uh, LMG. So for this weapon right here, this has been my favorite so far. After patch, since the Interceptor got nerfed, and since like the Snake Shot pistols, this is all after those nerfs. So, what I'm currently using is the Jack Annihilator kit. Honestly, if you don't have this conversion kit, I do not think it's worth using. I've tested it; it just doesn't hit the same. Uh, but if you have the, if you do have the Jack Annihilator kit, let's go ahead and run the Commando D15 recoil uh, stock. I'm currently using the Eagle Eye 2.5x. I know this is a very popular uh, scope or optic. You can kind of just use whatever you want here, it's really preference, but I do love the Eagle Eye, I use it on a lot of my weapons, so we're going to rock it here. We're going to want the Jack Annihilator Long Barrel as well, and then I'm using the VT7 Spitfire Suppressor, and let me tell you, this thing is an absolute beast. We'll go ahead and get into the firing range for you guys. Very accurate, very strong, and it just absolutely beams. Very fun weapon to use. And going into the rest of the build, we're rocking the WSP Swarm as the sidearm. Something that you guys are going to notice is uh, pretty much use this on every class. Uh, I know there's a couple good shotguns. I think like the Emma Renettis, I don't know if those got nerfed or not. But there's a few other alternatives, you know, for like close range weapons. But I'm rocking the WSP Swarm. I've been loving it. Got no issues with it. I've tested a few different builds from multiple different people. This one is one that I've currently created that I've been liking. So if you guys want to copy this, feel free. I think the recoil control is great on it. Uh, I don't use an optic, so for the PC players, I know that this weapon is very hard to use without an optic. So you could switch out either like the grip or the muzzle uh, in order to put an optic on if you're on PC. Uh, but for me, I'm rocking the Reckless 90 Long Barrel. We're rocking the L4R Flash Hider, the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip, 40 round mag, and then the Marauder Grip. This thing bangs. Like, it's it's definitely got a very fast TTK. I don't think it's the fastest, but it just feels good. Um, and it's just a very good close-up SMG to have. So, I haven't really found anything better. I know a lot of people use the Striker. I think that would be my second option if I were to switch from this SMG. I would use the Striker. For our tactical lethal, this is going to be the same pretty much for all my classes, whether I'm using a sniper or an AR um, or like a marksman. I like using smokes and semtex. Uh, if I were to switch anything here, I honestly don't ever switch out the smokes. I think they're just most important for any type of situation. It, they work well in solos. Uh, if you need to get out of a specific spot or if you're pushing towards end game and you need to move towards zone, you know they just come in handy like at all times. Even in squads or duos, if you need to revive a teammate, you could just throw a smoke on them. So smokes are just very situational based, but they come in handy for almost any play style, in my opinion. It's the lethal that I think is very preference based. I mean, there's a few that I wouldn't even consider using, uh, but I think throwing knife is very good if you're trying to get those quick kills. Uh, Semtex, any type of grenade is good. And then I think proximity mines and claymores are useless in my opinion just because I tend to find so many on the ground I, I don't think Molotov's a bad choice but again those are just personal preference when it comes to the lethal 
And then for the perk package, this is obviously all preference as well, but what's been working really well for me and what I've been liking is double time, sleight of hand, tempered, high alert. Um, when it comes to the last one here, I will say I've tested resolute, I've tested flex. Resolute's really good. I do like it. I do enjoy playing it, but I think just high alert, having the awareness um, is just way more important overall. Like in all aspects, I think it's just going to carry you more long term in the game rather than resolute where it's very very situational based you know if you're very low health it'll help you out or if you're in like a specific situation it'll help you out whereas high alert kind of just helps you in in all senses you know tells you where people are um or where you're getting looked at from so i think it's all around great perk flex only reason i was using it is because people said it fixed the audio i actually think it made the audio issues worse so i just stopped running it Tempered, there's a lot of great choices here. I think Quick Fix would be like my second option. I wasn't running Tempered, but I just like having that you know, extra time shaved off and like when you're in a gunfight. So if I'm getting hit first, I need to like rearmor up. Tempered just saves that amount of time for somebody to start pushing me. So if they decide to start pushing me in a gunfight, I could already be, you know, fully armored up rather than if I didn't have Tempered, you know, I might still have another armor plate to go by the time I got to start shooting back because they're pushing me. So it just saves you a little bit of time in those gunfights. Um, and I think it comes in handy. And then sleight of hand, double time, I think these two are very preference based, but I just think they're more of quality of life things. So that's why I run those. Uh, but that's the first main build. This is going to be what I'm going to be rocking 90% of the time, even in solos, mostly in squads. Um, but this is what I'm going to be using. Now, my second option, which is still incredibly good after the patch, is the Interceptor. So, this is the Marksman Rifle, the MTZ Interceptor. And what we're using on it is the Eagle Eye 2.5, the MCW Blackjack Stock, 20 round mag, the long barrel, uh, or the long shot pro barrel, and then the VT7 Spitfire Suppressor. And this thing even after patch like i'll show you right here we'll put three armor plates on like after patch this thing just annihilates three taps to the head and then i think one headshot two to the body yep so incredibly good you know if you can at least land one headshot and then just follow up with two more shots to the body Great weapon overall. Still, still pretty broken. In my opinion. And this is the WSD Swarm build that I showed you guys. Pretty good, not too bad. And then the last weapon I'm going to show you guys. This one also did take a pretty big nerf, but I still enjoy it as an AR overall. And that's going to be the DG56. So. Going right into it, also using the Eagle Eye on this one. We're using the extended TP9 stock, 40 round mag, EG56 LS18 barrel, and then the VT7 Spitfire suppressor. So this thing also shoots in a very straight line. It's extremely accurate, and I think that's why it's like a meta meta gun right now, is just how accurate it is. Like it's, it's very hard to miss with this weapon, but the TTK just isn't there anymore you know, it used to be incredibly fast not as fast but it's still incredibly accurate basically shoots straight so overall extremely good weapon if you're looking to run an ar and of course you got that which also shoots very straight so those those are what i'm running those are my perks tactical lethal primary secondary like i said i i tend to swap between these just Know, very random just to switch it up per game and i would appreciate if you guys comment like subscribe this video and you know let me know in the comments what you guys want to see as far as like warzone related content if you guys want to see like tips and tricks videos or just straight gameplay videos high kill games solo squads if you guys want to see me play with another content creator you know let me know um, whatever it might be you know feel free to throw it in the comments but either way i'm gonna sign off appreciate you guys for watching take care